What's good guys? It's your boy Rated Guy Fresh here and I am back with another video. Back, back, back with another video. You already know what it is. So yes, it is Rival Day and your very own boy Rated Guy Fresh is here and I am going to bring you a sick video. You already know I am playing my 60 card Stardust variant Bananas versus my teammate DZ. He's on his tri brigade with a splash of that bird stuff. Anyway, you already know we got $50 on the line. If the winner wins, loser wants to run it back. You already know what it is. But let's get right into this freaking video. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's giddy up. You heard me? All right, let's get it. So anyway, we start out. We start out with talents. Your boy want to die wrong too, by the way. You already know what it is. Talents, uh, e Telly, Ash, Souls, and Droplet. This is full combo if you have nothing. He has one for one, Tri Brigade Fractal. He has Nervo, Wobbler, and his um, Canary. So your boy open crazy, bro. This is crazy. You feel me? So anyway, we're going to get our e Telly going. Getting our reflector out, reflector effect. You already know. We're going to add our boy, boy, boy. Beast to the hand to score beast to get trapped. So then his next effect is reveal trap, right? And then you get to special summon beast from the grave, modify his level, of course. You just want to boost him by level three so he can be a seven, seven into eight. But we're going to go past them crazy plays. You already know we're going to go straight into how we are playing into Nib. We're going to do all that good stuff because we have talents. We have here hand trap us. So be it. You heard me? So anyway, we're going to go into how how get double a one. We're going to go into Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn, get yourself out three little sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking so fast that I'm coughing. You heard? I'm in a coffin. Anyway, 001 effect is special summon from Grave. After we get that out, uh, okay. Yeah, after we get that out, we're going to make Cupid Pitch. Cupid, am I always, yeah, I'm just going to make sure I'm saying Cupid Pitch, right? Girl with the bow and arrow. Normally here, honestly, I feel like he would have nibbed me once I did 001. So I just said, you know what? Let's go for Cupid Pitch because normally somebody's nibbing right there because they know you're going to make your, um, your herald so i saw he didn't hit me there so we're now we're just going full combo extra extension anyway we're going to do savage here i'm sorry we're going to do i'm going way ahead of myself made it level five a road on effect pop two we're going to get out the coat wing how happy we didn't draw that baby we're going to special summon two tokens boom boom uno dos three she's a thought though anyway we're going to get back double one we're going to make our boy savage savage equip so we're going to do Cupid 1, because I think it's mandatory, I'm pretty sure. And anyway, Savage 2, going to grab Resonate Yawn. Resonator is going to um, add that to him. We're going to activate Souls. Souls, we're going to pitch the Illusion. Then we're going to Special Summon Souls. We did Souls play because um, if we made, basically, Arc first, then, you know, things wouldn't have played out this way. So we make Arc Noun, as you can see. We're going to Special Summon, make this into level 8. Get our Stardust. Set, set. We have Ash in hand. My opponent's not stopping me. Availer too late, baby. So anyway, we're going to activate our Sort Mode. Bing, bang. Anyway, Sort Mode, let's get that out. So now, we put. this is the board. This is the board. We could have went even crazy if we had one more extender in hand um with the right cup of tea but this is normally your board if you don't open the assault mode packet then you end on other things but we, we hard through dpe would have been crazy with fusion destiny so anyway uh we're gonna go to the next play we do that so that's a great he's gonna special summon a wobbler we say that is fine by you fine by me zan you know who you are he makes he, he makes that reference so our opponent is gonna go, to go try to go straight into zeus here DZ, I knew what you were doing, but you didn't know my plan. So he attacked directly. At first, I was going to drop it, but you cannot forbid and drop it under this card. That's why we make this card. Booyah, period. So from here, we goes, okay, going to your downer, going to Zeus. He's going to do um, Zeus effect. So here was critical, right? He thought probably we were going to use one of these, but we savage. And then we do this, right? So... We savage this. He's like, fine. He activates Zeus again. We Herald. Herald is so good in this deck because when you Herald, you add Illusion and you have follow-up for next turn. So, yes, he was turn player, so he would get the priority to do it first. I will be chained too. By the way, Booyah, he had Karaz. I'm like, back. 
So I think he told me like he could have broke my board in some sense or something like that. But anyway, I'm like, what do you got? He said one for one. We said what? Ash Blossom. After that Ash Blossom, it didn't matter to be honest. Is because I still had a negate here into anything he did. And I think he normal or even if he didn't normal, it didn't matter. I had the sort mode on live. And as you can see, he didn't know, but I had droplets as well. So he's thinking, he's reviewing grave. And then he omits the feet. Let's go. We already up a game. We already up 25 bucks. You earn it. Pretty much 25 bucks. Next game. We open no hand traps. So guess what? He goes crazy. He's going crazy, right? So he always, honestly, if you don't know DZ, if you um watch his games, he always open bird core no matter what. Always. He is a bird core mastion. So wobbler. Yep, he get out his wobbler. This is all special summon. He goes crazy. This is all special summon. Sparrow. I'm like, bet, you got it. I mean, <laughs> I can't respond to anything he have. He's going to get nervy out. Mm-hmm. He's going to activate his swallow. Bada bang. Special summon out his freaking Nervo. Appaloosa. Easy Appaloosa. Easy Appaloosa. I'm like, even if I had a hand trap, that was his fifth summon. So it didn't freaking matter. So he goes Karaz here. I'm like, bet. He goes straight to um, Nervo. I'm like, ah, fuck. What is he going to do? Excuse my language on. So now he's going to do four. He's going to get out his boy Omen. I never really understand why they do Omen there, but then... It kind of dawned on me why. Anyway, gonna go into Bear Brum, activate Nervo and um, Shirag, add DD Crow. Honestly, I didn't even know he added DD Crow. I think I looked away, but that is crazy. Like to get that DD Crow search. Like DD Crow is really good, especially when going up against DPE. I actually play DD Crow now, and it's insane. It's insane. Anyway, he gets his Fusion Destiny out. I'm like, oh, I gotta play through this board. I think I attempt to play through it, but yeah, I actually attempt to play through this board. I believe. So anyway, he activates DPE. Can we draw broken? In the comments right now, I'm gonna stop the video. Five seconds. If you guys can guess what card I draw, I will give in the next video a $50 gift card. I'm lying, cause you guys just can skip to the video. But anyway, we draw a call by the freaking grave. Who is that person, baby? Me. My name is Rated God Fresh for a reason. It's what I say, Rated Impress. Now, I remember my name is Rated Fresh. You heard me. Anyway, Call by the Grave uh, kills us in the long run because you'll see why later on. So, anyway, we top deck the Cosmic. Well, I said top deck. We activate Cosmic Cyclone, paying a thousand. He's going to get his cards out. That's fine. Get your plays. Blah, 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 blah. He gets his guy out. I'm like that. So, he activates. He only activates one, his nerve. I'm like, cool. Now, we're gonna. he's going to get his kit. We're going to go to Talents. We're going to do talents to take Apple. The reason we do this now is because we just wanted to get his negate, to be honest. So here, I, I didn't know he had DD Crow. I really didn't know he had DD Crow. And the reason I'm so upset that he had DD Crow is because I had cross out. You know, like, I wasn't thinking. Like, I, I run DD Crow in my deck. Um, uh, You can't see the deck right now, but I main DD freaking Crow. And this is a game changer because I was oblivious to this. So, DZ, if you're watching, I could have DD Crowed your ass, man. Just letting you know that. Could have DD Crowed your ass. So, I'm like, all right, bet. He's doing his plays. I'm like, shabang, shabang, whatever. Do your plays, homie. I think he goes, yep, he goes into this. So, oh, actually, no, it didn't matter. DD Crow didn't matter because, um... He had, I was still under his core by the grave. I mean, my core by the grave, I was still under. So I went back. And in the chat, I was just letting him know I'm still under because I th thought he was guessing why. So he goes, boom, boom, boom. He doesn't know my phase down. He probably could have gamed me, but he probably thought my phase down was something. But, you know, you got to set it. I had cross out just in case he had a card and I had it too, which comes up in like a future game. So he attacks, attacks. He said he could have, I think he could have gamed me. I'm pretty sure he could have. So now we have one for one. It didn't matter here. He DD Crow's Celestial. So, this is what I'm talking about. <sighs> I could have stopped that, man. And my next two top decks, I believe, was crazy. Yeah, so I just want to... This is my next two top decks. So, regardless of it, I could have still full combo. Because I could have special summoned out normal summon here. And I would have 
basically OTK'd him. So yeah, I lost the game that I never should have lost, pretty much. Anyway, game three. Time to go crazy. I think, did I brick game three? I think I bricked. Well, technically, it's it's a it's a brick, but it's playable if your opponent doesn't have a hand trap. Because I drew a tuner, so I go illusion. And the, the funny thing is, you're gonna see it um soon. So I go illusion, magician souls, um, activate magician souls, pit back, uh, magician souls effect. I think we're going to did I? yep, magician souls. So activate. He goes gamma, and he forgot the side and omega. Tis tis, tis tis. So um, he forgot the side it in. We both um in a chat. You can see right here. We're both like, holy shit, he forgot, blah, blah, blah. So he adds that back in his hand. One card I do know, so Souls Effect is good. But I didn't draw yet, so I just added that back just in case I drew something broken. So here's the play where I beat myself up, by the way. Um, I do the Hulk play. But, oh, I think I could have did something because I, I pinned him on Nib. I knew he had the Nib. So, all right, this is what I'm saying. So I was going to make Verte. I was going to make Verte because I pit him on it, but I think his hand probably was still cracked, but I pit him on it. I knew it. I had to call by the grave and I have Valor and I, the pro play here is make sure you guys in that situation. I should just went Verte. That's why I'm so upset. Verte into um, DEP. We had call by the grave for a tribal game monster and we had in I mean, I'm effect Valor, whatever to stop. And that would have just been it. That would have probably sealed his fate. But me, I was just oblivious to this and i knew he had it i'm gonna fast forward because he nibbed me here and i was just so upset with myself because i knew what he had and that's on me a talent drill too i didn't really draw anything too good but we drew hand trap we ash he activates i call by the grave now and we're like i think we start top decking after that like yeah he goes into his play i'm like bet i knew he was gonna make verte here i um affect valor now it just is like the stupidest thing happens is we go into a showdown, right? I'm gonna fast forward here. So I set um here. He activates Verte again, but he had he sided it out. So now I'm taking 500. I have a card in hand. He attacks again. Now I'm just passing turn. He's leaving hand traps in hand. He um go here activates. He gets his plays. So now I'm like, damn, I could be screwed. Mm hmm. Then he passes. I still draw nothing. I'm like, shoot, he activates. I'm like, bet, that's good, whatever. I imperm. Uh, he just attacks. I'm like, bet, that's cool. I'm down to my last 1,000. He goes, Appaloosa, I am going to judgment. Because I'm like, you know what? I needed him to waste all four. But as you can see, his hand is stacked, bro. His hand is stacked. So we go here, we draw two. I think we drew into like more hand traps or something. Oh, we drew into judgment and oh my god, I was just even worse. So we set a card just to hope he sets a card. So now we have E Telly. <laughs> We're like bet. We have E Telly. Here we go. We're gonna go into this play. Activate. He has nothing. We search beast. Uh oh, so now I was thinking maybe I should have just went into um I probably should have made Savage here. But no, he would have still had me. I do that. Target. Do he DD Crow me here? I, think, I believe he does. Yeah, he DD Crows me. I couldn't judgment that, so he DD Crow. So next play is DPE. That is the next. Wait, why did I make Hulk? Oh, yes. So I was debating if he had Ogre in hand, and my dumb ass could have made DPE once again. Could have did DPE, man. Once again, I'm sorry, I can't um show you guys. Once again, I could have DPE'd here, bro. Once again, I could have fucking DPE'd. And then I this is like cost me the game right here. This cost me the game. Cause now I sided out one ogre. I'm upset at myself. So now he has Imperm. He sets Imperm. I have Dasher. I'm like, this is just bad, man. He Imperms me. He normal summons Wobbler out. Which, um, I was gonna, what you call it, I was gonna tribute summon and attack, but I didn't. Silly, silly me. So here, uh, oh yeah, he imperms me, because I was gonna judgment, right, and this is game. So yes, he beats me here, he wins the 50, GG, 
he got me. So we did have another game, which was really, really good. Um, I think I won the first game and he wins the second game. But I have to I had to go to work as right now and I'm just recording it, but I had to go to work. So we caught that game even. So I owe him 50 freaking dollars. But when I get home, we're gonna play again to really run it back because like I said, I had to go. So right now he's up 50. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed Rival Day, and I'm out.